know the story. I was the fourth writer on Sleepless in Seattle, and it had a director, and it even had Kim Basinger was kind of interested in doing it, if you can believe it. You know, it was one of those things in studios sometimes say to you, where they say it just needs character, when the truth is, all it is is a character piece. So the main thing that it's missing is the thing it is. But what was there was this fabulous dirt that you could grow wonderful grass in if you just knew how to do it. I have this fanatical thing about having every single character in a movie have a moment, you know, so that even the guy who delivers the mail has a little scene. He doesn't just give the mail, he's got this little dopey conversation about hiccups cures. You know, what we try to do is make it as textured and rich as we possibly could so that there was a huge amount underneath the movie, so that every scene, you know, the scene where Rita Wilson tells the story about an affair to remember and starts to cry. There's no reason for it. It doesn't move the plot along. You just can't imagine the movie without it because it is what the movie is. The other themes that we were playing with here, you know, the theme of how basically aggressive women are, how it's the women who move the romance. Jessica on one side of the country, Annie and Becky on the other, when Tom calls up Victoria, all he does is make that one phone call, and she does the rest. So I thought, well, I know how to do this. I know how to make these people into people and give the thing some drive. And I did a three-week rewrite on it. And I turned this screenplay in, and what happened then was really kind of funny. It was like a little teeny-weeny explosion. And in 48 hours, every agent, every actor, in Hollywood wanted to be in this movie except for Kim Basinger. <laughs>